ride dirty, ride ugly, forget dirty, ugly for for a little while. I've got some uh, spacers, so my issue is. Oh, okay. I know you can see the back there. The back is pretty flush. Right? Pretty flush. And the front is looking like crap. So the plan is pull the wheel off, put a spacer on and uh, see what kind of fitment we can get. Each of those, there's four of them, and I've got, uh, they're seven mil each. They're not the correct spacer, but I want to see how it would look, if I can, if seven mil is enough. If it is, then I will order the proper ones. Um, the reason that these ones are not proper is there's way too much give in here, and the bore is way too much as well. You want something that will sit on the hub, and uh, be just big enough for the uh, bolts to go in, especially European ones, right? You know how they are, right? You pull the bolt and the whole thing comes out as opposed to pulling the nut and leaving the, uh, uh, oh, having a brain fart. Um, the, the threaded part. I don't remember the name. Oh, crap. Whatever, you understand what I'm saying. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just fit them up and see how it looks, see if 7mm is enough or if I need to go bigger or smaller. Alright guys, so like I was saying, um, this spacer is not the correct one, but I just wanted to see whether or not 7mm is enough or too much. Um, so this is why this spacer is not the ideal one. It's made for multi-vehicles. Multi you want something, as I was saying, <clears throat> that sits right over the hub um, and has just enough room for the uh, bolts to go in, right? This is way too loose. So I am going to fit it up, take a look, make sure that, uh, you know, like I said, seven mil is enough, um, and uh, then get the, get the right stuff. Let's check it out. think more <laughs> I don't know. so I've come to the conclusion that uh, seven mil will be enough problem is I don't know what happened to the uh, longer bolts that I that I have I couldn't have used all of them on the rear that that just doesn't make any sense anyhow I'm gonna have to get longer ones before I can ride these anyway. And I guess I'll just wait until I get the uh, proper spacer as well. Um, so I guess this was kind of a bust, but those are the things that happen when you're, when you uh, are doing mods, you're trying to uh, get it just the way you want it, just right. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to ride, ride dirty. Right, ugly, forget dirty, ugly for, for a little while. All right. the uh, 
spacers that look like this, which I'm not a fan of. Um, then you have the ones that are like this, so just a spacer. Then you have one with the lip on it for the hub, so mounts to the to the uh, rotor, not to the rotor, but to the housing. Uh, to the yeah, and um, then the rim can sit on this part. Makes it a little bit safer. All right, let's see how this uh, fits up. Just so you can see for yourselves. So there's the hub. It sits on. Line up the holes. Now the rim has a lip to sit on. And likewise, for the rim, that lip goes inside the rim. No movement. It's nice and flat. That's the way you need it to be. If there's any play, then at speeds, it can uh, shake and come loose, which is why I prefer the ones with the, uh, the little lip on the, on the uh, spacer. Uh, my rears do not have it. It's more like the second one, second one I showed you, the thin black one, without a lip. Um, at some point, I'll probably end up changing those out. At some point. All right, here it goes. Wheel hanger. And of course, you need longer lug nuts, uh, like I was explaining before. So these are the standard ones. And these are the longer ones. That's what you need. I know that the uh, car is up off the ground, but just to give you an idea, you can see that rim, that wheel was inside the fender, right? See that? Wheel is a couple mil inside. So now, and once again, I'm aware that the car is off the ground, but see that? Now you get a little bit of poke. It sits out just a little bit. So we'll uh, put it down, take a look, and uh, see if we got any rubbing or any other issues. Once again, for reference, you can see that wheel sits way inside. Sits inside. I want it to be more like the back, where it's pretty flush. That's what I'm looking for. Just like, you know? So, bam! Okay. It's pretty aggressive. All right, well, we'll try the other one and then we'll check for uh, wheel movement, make sure that the uh, make sure that the wheels don't touch the fenders, don't touch anything other than the ground.
while the spacers are on, the car's on the ground, here's what it looks like. Of course, I still have to check to make sure that it doesn't rub, but damn. Let's see if it rubs. <clears throat> That's a win. Take them when you get them. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later.